about this love. About this love. About this love. About 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 this love. Love 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 love. How you guys doing today? You are tuning into About This Love podcast with myself, Del, and my living wife, Sherelle. Say what's up to the peoples. <laughs> <laughs> Try to do something new. <laughs> what's up, peoples? Yeah, she she thought forgot about it. I thought I decided to do something new. Um, as, as always, um, for those who follow our podcast, you can definitely find our podcast everywhere where podcasts can be found. Google Podcasts, um, iTunes, Stitcher, soon on Pandora, um, YouTube, YouTube. Facebook, and Spotify. So for those who you know who like to follow us on, on the, those platforms, um, please leave a review on the on the platforms and please um, engage with us on uh, Facebook. Yeah, we want to know if you're enjoying it, what some things you want us to talk about, you know, because I think we're going to start getting into a series where we're covering certain topics more in depth instead of talking about gossip. You know how them gossip podcasts are. Gossiping? I mean, you we, we you gossip want, a little bit. You mean you ain't want to talk about entanglement? <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you guys could see, like, if this was a live podcast, you guys could just, like, imagine me cutting my eyes over at him. Like, we ain't talk about no entanglement. Let's talk about detangling. <laughs> I think he actually, I think Will just came out with a <laughs> with a song called Detangled. I think he did. Anyways, um, today's podcast session. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Today, I wanted us to actually sit down and talk about or why your relationships have been failing. And, um, you know, obviously, this is for those who are dating or seeking to be married, those who want to pursue someone or have been pursuing someone. And years later, months later, it's like... You know, it don't go anywhere. It just dissipates, and you're just wondering why, you know, your relationship isn't really going anywhere. Yeah, because I, I think so, sometimes I wonder uh, when, when relationships don't succeed or when it fails, I wonder, do they ask these questions like, man, I wonder I wonder what happened. I wonder, you know, what I could have did differently. And, you know, I, mean, I, just, I just sometimes, sometimes I mean, I, I think about things like that. I think about if people actually ask these questions because I feel like sometimes people just move on real easy. And but they never really ask a question like, is it me? Was it the person? And I know it's, it's human nature to always be like, oh no, nah, it was him. It was her. You know, she. It's like, well, I mean, eighty five percent might have been her. You know what I'm saying? But but, but some of that might have been her <laughs> or, or him. But, oh, okay. but but some of that is, is, is you know you know what what part did you take in that? So I mean, I think that's it's, it's really good, honey. Just to kind of highlight that, like you know, reasons why relationships you know fail. Yeah, absolutely. Um, thanks. So I think in this episode, we really just want to lay down the foundation. And I think in future episodes, we're going to go more in depth into, you know, these different areas. But the four that we came up with and we discussed when thinking about it was foundation, motives, intentionality, and commitment. When we say a foundation of a relationship, that is, what are you building on? Like, like, how to get started? <laughs> yeah, how to get started? Like, was it arrangement to just have sex? Was it you know a friendship? A friendship? Um, did somebody introduce you to? And then you know, did you go from there and decide you just want to be in a relationship? Was it a you know you guys met up at a Bible study and just kind of took it from there? And then have you even considered the foundation? Like you know, it kind of goes back to what is a foundation of a relationship? And it's something that you stand on, like a foundation of a house. So, for example, I have been looking at mobile homes because I just like watching mobile homes being built and people designing it and everything. But it's like you can have a mobile home, but it has to be set on something so it doesn't roll away. It doesn't fall over. If there was a storm or any type of natural disaster or natural occurrences that we know that's going to happen, like that mobile home will not shift. It won't slide. It won't sink. It'll just stay where you put it. And so with your relationship, will it sink? Will it slide? Will it shift when things come you know, come at it or will it stay in the place that you put it? And that's what a solid foundation is, you know. And I, I know people who are into construction and who are builders, they know all about, you know, having a solid foundation. You know, maybe they can see the parallels and in, in how you apply it to your relationship. And then also, you know, when we talk about foundation, was your girlfriend and boyfriend or boyfriend like already in a relationship or in a marriage, you know? 
yeah. where they already seeing somebody and it was just kind of like, you know, I'm dating about four and five other people, but I'm being honest with you. And, you know, once one of them make me upset, then I'm just going to go with whoever I'm coolest with, whoever, you know, um, everybody's talking about energy right now. I'm just going to go off their energy and, you know, they playing games over there. And so the energy's better over here. And, and it's like, um, what was Drake's song a couple years ago? I'm more than just the option. What's that? What's that song? I'm not a Drake fan. So I, I mean, say. I'm not either, but it was just so catchy. I feel like everyone was singing it. Oh, it was Kiki and something. Like, I mean, that's all I know. You know, Kiki. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, just, I don't think that's the I name heard. of the. No, I don't think this is the name of this song. But either way, like, um, you know, is the person more than just an op? Like one of the options because you know, no one wants to. I mean, if we're honest with ourselves, no one wants to be one out of five or one out of you know whoever's whoever's like in your in your phone you know what i'm saying i hope, I hope i'm not going on a tangent mm -hmm. but um from what i'm about to say but i was i was just saying i was saying about thinking to myself that when people are in relationships or you know tr looking to date somebody i feel like people do a, do a lot of playing games or people just have certain standards which oftentimes prevent them from being in good relationships like um I, you know i know i know somebody i know was close to me who, who's older we still talk about you know just relationships and things like that one of the things that he says to me is that oftentimes older women want a man who is secure and you know kind of locked in a job and stable and that's true you know that's true but like um, established established yeah mm -hmm. but, but oftentimes what, what, what people what people don't realize is that when someone may have had some folks in the road for for whatever reasons, whether it's you know spent some time incarcerated, but um it's now getting out, and you know becoming a productive member of society. It's like, well, do you consider these things? And it's like, well, if a man and or a woman have all the qualities that you're looking for, but they're not what you would consider stable or, you know, have a solid career or w w whatever the case may be, do you just like kind of overlook that and keep it pushing? And I think for, uh, for I think for a lot of a lot of a lot of us, you know, we do. We kind of keep it pushing, you know. Um, even even for even women who have multiple children, this is just my opinion. For women who may have more than three children, it's like most dudes might be like, eh, yeah, I ain't waiting for all that drama. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like oftentimes we just we we set standards that are unrealistic. But but yes, I mean that's your personal preference. See, I mean I'm, I'm just thinking about that. I'm just thinking about how oftentimes you know how just they're not realistic or circumstances can change because you know when i got married i mean i was i was pretty broke you know what i'm saying um <laughs> I'm, I'm just being honest you know um but that's not the case anymore why because circumstances changed if you're with somebody for money or uh, sex or whatever whatever like um one of one of the one of the things that was brought to my attention uh, i was talking to um to a, to a buddy of mine and he was having a conversation with one of his friends and um i guess his friend's partner wasn't pleased because he wasn't performing too well sexually if you're in a relationship because of sex it's like well once the sex kind of diminishes or people become not able to perform because of health issues what what what, what are you just gonna roll out you know what i'm saying so it's, it's just things that i think about just how our perspective and requirements are just so faulty you know and just in turn that's kind of like what we what we set our foundation on is, is faultiness and and surface level crap that can really be fixed but we live in a culture where, where people are all about now, 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 now. What can you do for me now? I don't want to wait three or four years for you to get a better job or get a raise to your job. I want to do it now. I don't want to wait three or four years for, for you to take care of your health and so you can perform, you know, better sexually. I want it now. And it's like oftentimes just that, that mentality actually ruins a lot of people and it kind of sets up people's foundation to be set on, on sand or, or, or just if we're, to be very faulty, you know, because yeah. most things, unfortunately, they don't happen just now. You know, that don't happen now. You know? <laughs> a lot of things don't happen right now. Yeah. Um, that reminded me of when I was in beauty school. I mean, I, you, I mean you, you can go on Facebook Live right now. I mean, oh, my gosh. You too live right now, but that's about God, it. Here, here we go. <laughs> Even that, now. like, if the internet connection ain't, if you somewhere where you have no connection <laughs> or the Wi-Fi ain't working, you know, we have some friends that come over our, our home, and they're just like, you know, we don't got connection over here. Like, my phone ain't going to ring. So, now nah, they can't go live right now unless they're on the Wi-Fi. But, no, that I was going to say, that reminds me me of when I was in beauty school and um, I was talking with like an older um, just an older student you know this was her going to be her second career being a hairstylist and um, she was like 
Yeah, you know, so what do you guys see yourself doing when um, you get out of beauty school? And I was just like, oh, well, I want to do this. I want to do that. And I want this and I want that. And she looked at me and shook her head and was like, oh, you want everything, don't you? And I was just sitting there thinking, oh, she's just trying to be little me. She older. And like when you're younger, you don't really take into consideration a lot of things. I it, like and I look back on that conversation and I was just like, oh, Lord, I was so foolish and so young. Like you can hear the youth in the way that I spoke in the way that I view things. And it was very like not realistic at all. I didn't consider the cost of opening up a salon or even working for myself because a lot of hairstylists are, you know, they're small business owners, even though they're renting a booth or or working from their home, that's their business. And so you don't consider a lot. And I feel like in ways I would have been more successful financially had I planned things out before trying to bring on clientele. And I think that people don't even sit and think about that when they're considering getting into a relationship. You don't plan out or write out, what are some things that I want um, to do to you know, start building a relationship with someone? What are some things that I want to look for? Because a lot of times we want these things. One thing I always say to um, some friends of ours, you know, I'm just like, we talk about different things that we want to see in our business. And I'm just like, yeah, you know, the Lord's going to bless you, but you know, just be prepared for that blessing. I actually have a friend who's, um, sings much success during this time in her business and we've you know did a lot of brain dumps and you know just kind of bouncing ideas off of one another and you know that success in her business came so quickly and she's like oh my gosh like we was just talking about this a few weeks ago and I'm like yeah we were but what are you gonna do now you have to now follow through you have to fulfill the task like you have to follow through with that so your business can remain successful i mean we talked about it but now that you have it this is where the work begins and so i mean not that the work didn't begin before then but you know some planning some writing out some things i mean because that's what i did like when i was single and i was seeking the lord yes i was seeking the lord for a husband if i'm honest but i was also seeking the lord just to seek the lord on some things to find out like what was in my heart what was, you know, some things that I wanted or needed for me, not just in a relationship, but just for me, because then you get with someone and they may rub you the wrong way and, you know, offend you and y'all breaking up and you don't, you don't even know, you don't even know why, because you don't know, like you, you feel it but you don't know how to articulate it. So then when you go into another relationship, you haven't even had time to process. Like, okay, it didn't work out because I really didn't, you know, take the time to do X, Y, and Z. And I noticed that that's been the trend with me. When someone presses that button, I just kind of shut down and I disappear. And then I'm thinking we still should have a nice flowing relationship, but then that causes tension and, you know, it's just like a cycle. And so in order to break those cycles, in order to get out of your own way, so to speak. Yeah, I know. I know. I was, I was talking to, um, I was talking to uh, a buddy of mine. He used to be in a, he used to be in a, in a relationship with a, a young lady. And when they got into like, um, disagreements or arguments, he was like, instead of saying sorry, she would just want to have sex. But then he's like, after a while, that joint, it got it got real annoying, you know. It, it got real annoying because he was like, you know, you're offering me sex, but the real issue is never being resolved. And he was like, and he was like, it came to a point where they just begin to bump heads more and more. And I and, and I was just thinking about that, like how oftentimes, like, you know, it, it, it's good that he was able to notice that, you know, because I mean that, that's 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 very pivotal. Like like early on in your relationship, being able to notice things and being able to kind of bring them to the forefront, so you can so you guys can discuss them together you know it's very important you know what i'm saying and, um it's it's interesting because i you know i was kind of acting like well, well did, did that change or he was like nah and you know so it was you know i mean of course they don't they're no longer in a relationship together but but it's like yeah you know i mean you can't fix everything like you know like you can't you can't you know a dude can't come home and beat up his wife and then give her buy some expensive jewelry and then and they, that's cool <laughs> you know i mean i'm not laughing at, at the the um the, the, the abuse. abuse but i'm just yeah. saying like if people just think that you know i can just do whatever i want to do and never never apologize and say i'm sorry never sit down and talk about you know the issue but just we we be cool and i think that's kind of the 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 foundation 
early on in your relationship, what becomes the foundation is when things happened, happened how they are addressed at that point. Because Absolutely. when you refuse to address an issue at that point and nip with what they call nipping the bud, it be, it becomes the foundation of a specific way of thinking or action in a relationship. With whether it's if I make my wife upset or angry, I just buy her some gifts, and that's kind of cool. It's like, well, I'm pretty sure that she's cool with the gifts, but it's like it doesn't really get to the heart of the issue as far as what brought about the the dispute or why she's angry or upset with you. And it doesn't never really, really resolve that. So I feel like that oftentimes, you know, foundations are kind of set pre-relationship and also at the, at, the, at the very beginning of your relationship as well. No, most definitely. I mean, we've seen that even in our own marriage, there's things that we kind of let slide and then they kept coming back up and kept coming back up. And it's like, man, why are we in the same cycle? And then eventually it's like, no, nah, blow up. It, yeah, it's a big blow up. And then. You know, and then from there, that's where a lot of people see their marriage falling apart. They see their relationships falling apart. I mean, you're putting you're putting in that that leg work. You know, you're putting in that work, and um, it's not easy. You know, a lot of times I think that people are used to thinking with that high school way of dating, that high school mindset, that teenage love affair, um, so to speak, because I believe that's around the time, the age frame and time where people start getting interested in dating. That's when you start, you know, having your quote unquote first loves, you take them to prom and you start building memories with someone, but you have no responsibility to them so it's a lot easier you know yeah. you going back home to mommy and daddy or whoever and i mean and there's some rare circumstances where people actually do become high school sweethearts and get married but they still had to build that foundation like with being married they still had to work through things i mean because if anything you have memories you just have the memories, but you really don't have that foundation with someone. I think it's very false to believe that just because you've been with someone for so long that you have a solid foundation because that time, it's just time. That's, I mean, yeah. like, if you really think about it, that's just time. And correct me if I'm wrong, Dale, because, you know, if that's the case, I've had a friend since, I believe, we've been friends since probably, you know, middle school. And it's like, yeah, we've been best friends since that amount of time, but it's kind of like... Yeah, but, you know, we're friends, and you know a lot of stuff about me, but... You don't know me. You don't know me. Yeah. You know they call me T.I., but you don't know <laughs> Okay, so you don't know the Drake song, but you know the T.I. song? <laughs> yeah, T.I. from down south. I'm, I'm from the south. Oh, I was about to say, but Drake's from... He's I don't from know Canada. where Drake's from. Not, he's, not from he's from Canada. I know where he's from. I'm just joking. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, yeah, so... I mean, but, yeah, but you don't know me, and... As we grow, what's so funny? That's all I did, like, like, like you sung it in the melody. You don't know me. Anyway, Dale, you just wanted to sing that song. But no, so, but either way, it's like, you, you don't know me now. You don't know who I am now. So, you know, think about the people who you dated when you were a teenager, and then you try to date them again, or you've considered getting back with them as an adult, as if you, as if, you know, yeah, you know, I dated them in high school. And so now, you know, we're in our twenties, got a little bit of money. We can have some fun. And, you know, they was always cool. I like their, and I'm doing quotes. I like their energy and, you know, we always was vibing, but so now you got kids and now you got bills and you got work and you have like, you have responsibilities. You have things that you are taking care of. And then you realize, you know what, this person, you know, really doesn't care about, you know, keeping up with bills and they don't care about, you know, keeping up with or they don't care about keeping up with themselves or they don't care about how their home looks and just things like that. And yes, those are surface level carnal things, but those are things that you do think about when you're trying to get into a relationship with somebody. And it's not just the way they look and sex. Um, to be honest, it's it's not because, you know, beauty is fleeting. Like, we're getting older. People are changing. You can, get, you can get into an accident like that, and your whole look could change, or you could be paralyzed, and then what? Did, didn't, didn't we know somebody who, um, we know somebody who um, was in a relationship um, with somebody um, who had, who had um, got a, a terminal illness? And, and they yes. They broke up with the person. Yeah, and they and broke up with them. I was, I was like, wow. Yeah, I mean, they. Yeah. Now, I mean, I'm just saying, like, I, I just I think about things l like that. Um, and and, and, go, and going back to um, going back to the um, 
conversation I was having about the gentleman who couldn't couldn't perform anymore sexually. So so the, the um you know his female partner wanted to um went out of that joint. It's like when when you when you really when you really get with somebody you know um in a relationship you have got to really get to know the person. Um and oftentimes like I said in today's in today's culture that's kind of not like it's not really like realistic. It's like yeah I've been talking to him for three months. I'm gonna start dating them. That's cool. I mean, I ain't, I, I ain't no problem with that. I mean, as long as you ain't trying to marry them after, after three months, you know. Um, the thing, things like that really do bother me, you know. Like, cause, you know, because just the idea of that, you know, that you love somebody and that they love you, it's like, well, what is love, you know? And um, it's funny because you know when I when I talk about when I talk to my son sometimes when he go to bed, I talk to him about the Lord and Jesus, and it's like, you know, God so loved the world that He gave, you know, He was willing to give up His His child, and He did. To be slaughtered. It's like, that's love. Like, love is willing to give. Like, even in relationships, you know, when we get into relationships with people, oftentimes I feel like the foundation of a lot of people's relationships is just, I want to be with somebody, I don't want to be alone. So, the foundation is already crappy because it's like, you just, I don't want to be alone. I just, I just, I just want somebody that, I just want somebody that I can have safe sex with, you know, on a consensus basis. And, and, you know, and that's it. And then from there, it may evolve to a relationship. Off the off, off the strength that again y'all been together for so, y'all been together y'all been having sex for so long yeah. you know we might as well go ahead and make, make it official you know well no saying? or you know the person get get pregnant and it's kind of like oh well I mean this baby on the way what we about to do you know yeah like so that goes into so we talked a little bit about foundation actually I feel like we talked a little bit about all the four areas that we mentioned but it sounds like we're getting more into motives so like what are your motives like why do you want to be with a person like you have to actually sit and think like is it because you're lonely do y'all have kids together so you guys should just might as well be in a committed relationship um is it because you want to combine finances or is that your heart's desire for like companionship for marriage okay guys um today we're actually going to end it um there to continue the conversation please tune into next week's podcast we're going to continue the conversation so please as always follow us on facebook Instagram, um, you can you can um, ingest our podcast everywhere where podcasts can be ingested. And again, to um, continue on this conversation, please tune into the episode for next week. Thank you. Bye.